All right, those are the words that we're going to be hearing very soon now. Times Square is almost ready to host the city's big New Year's Eve bash, or maybe that's the country's biggest New Year's Eve bash. Officials had a celebration test run to make sure all goes well. Organizers did a test flight with a, with a handful of colorful confetti on Wednesday. Gravity did its job, of course, and the test was a success. On New Year's Eve, about one and a half tons of confetti will fall onto Times Square when the clock strikes midnight. All right, we're going to bring it back home here in Denver. Of course, there are a lot of events going on right here on New Year's Eve, and you'll be able to see the main event at the strike of midnight when the fireworks light up over the sky at the 16th Street Mall. Justin Briesler with the city of Denver joins us live this morning to talk to us about what's happening this weekend. Justin, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You know, all right, there's a lot happening right here in the Mile High City, but I believe there will actually be two firework shows on Friday. That's right. You know, it's 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 New Year's Eve and we know that everyone out there wants to be safe. And um, one thing I'd say is, is just wherever you're going on New Year's Eve, just call the place and check where you're doing because everyone's got their own sort of rules and safety regulations. And we want people to be safe out there, of course. But the great thing is, is that there's so much to do that can be done outside. Um, it'll be a little bit cold. We want people to bundle up. And, and as you mentioned, fireworks are going on on the 16th Street Mall. And as you said, there are two shows. One is at a little bit more of a family friendly time at 9 p.m. And then the other one is straight up at midnight um, and you can watch them all along the mall. All right. I know the weather has been a little back and forth and Ed is talking about the snow coming in. So bundle up if you're headed out, but also talk to us really fast about the two day decadence event. Oh, uh, Decadence is a show at the Colorado Convention Center, but but there's there's plenty of other things going on here, including a lot of things that are free, including the Mile High Tree, which is on the 16th Street Mall at Welton Street. That'll be open until 10 p.m. Um, on New Year's Eve. Uh, and of course, the city and county building is still lit up because we know we like to keep those lights up until stock show. But also the Denver Zoo is keeping their lights program on as Botanic Gardens. Elitch Gardens has their Luminova light display, and those are all going on through January 2nd. So plenty of places to still get outside and uh, have a little bit more holiday magic. All right, perfect, Justin. We have about a minute left. I want to get two more questions in. I know you kind of briefly mentioned about kids, how they can celebrate without staying up until midnight. Let the parents know. That sure, yeah. The Children's Museum has something called Noon Year's Eve, and they do a fun little ball drop a few different times uh, on the 31st. So go uh, head over to our website at milehighholidays.com, and we've got a link over to the Children's Museum there. Um, and then, of course, you know, there's there's still still parties and and great hotel packages around the city. Um, and if for someone wants someone a little bit something a little bit more sort of cultural focused, um, a lot of the great museum exhibitions are out there, including the Denver Art Museum has a great impressionist exhibit. And the Denver Museum of Nature and Science has a couple of exhibitions, including a really fun uh, guitar exhibition. The world's largest guitar, I think, is there. and You can play it yourself, but um, uh, options all over the city. Yes, no, it definitely sounds like that. You know, lastly, why is the Mile High City so great to ring in the new year? Let the people know why they need to get out. Well, because we're Coloradans and we bundle up, whether it's, uh, you know, to, you know, 20 degrees or, or, or 60 degrees outside. So we know how to, how to have a good time outside. Um, and we uh, we want to keep our, our friends and our family safe. And uh, it's just a great place to be um, all, all over New Year's Eve. Thank you so much, Justin, for joining us this morning. Enjoy your new year. Hey, hopefully I may bump into you somewhere out here in Denver. Have a good one. I hope so.